You know what? As much as I complain about this truck, this truck has actually been good to us, you know? Let's talk about how this truck has benefited us and what we've done to it. Play with me If only for a moment Only for a while Let's talk about a brief history on this truck. We got this truck from the auction, and when we got it, it was at 629,000. We are now at 682,000, which means we did approximately slightly over 50,000 miles on this truck. Let's talk about some of the work we've done to this truck so far. So from the beginning to the end, we replaced these so far, I don't know them off the top of my head, both sides. We corrected the, actually the height of it. I've done some videos about it. Go towards the end of the beginning of the year. You'll see some of the videos I made about it and the repairs and stuff. But anyway, so we changed the U-bolts, changed the sock, shocks, and then we cleaned up that front axle. All that leak right there is coming from the freaking guy. He didn't clean up his stuff from the oil change. We did get an oil change in. We had somebody else do the oil change. We replaced this cap and as well as this. So basically, this one had a crack in it. So we swapped it out for another one just so I have this style. From the inside, we took, I bought one that's a regular one, like, not those ones, yeah, that one, the one with guy with the steers on them. Put it on the inner and then take that inner and put it out here. I did buff this out though. We've replaced these shocks, we've replaced the radiator, we've done the camshaft. Oh, I forgot, we also replaced that hub, that whole hub assembly. We, re we replaced all the shocks and we also replaced, we did some work on the APU. As a matter of fact, the APU took a lot more money, <laughs> almost as much money as the whole truck did in the initial repair. <laughs> we replaced the line, which was like 500 bucks, just for one line. One, one, one low side, yeah, it was the low side. And then we replaced the AC compressor on it. We replaced the belt. Um, we replaced the pump, the fuel pump on it. What else? There's a lot of bunch of little things on that APU. We've done little things like mud flap. We also got an alignment, right? We've never replaced the tires. I'm very thankful for that. Look at these tires. They're still in doggone good condition and I check the air on these tires all the time, and let me tell you, these tires hold air. We replaced this line, right? We lost that dog on cover. <laughs> we replaced, oh yeah, we replaced the sensor on the depth. We need to replace that cap because it's leaking. Overall, altogether, we are sitting at about $12,000 maintenance-wise, including all of your oil changes and stuff, okay? The only reason why in my opinion, the only reason why that seems so low is because number one, we work on our own equipment, majority of it. The only thing that we had somebody done on this thing is a couple of oil changes in the alignment. That's it, really. Oh, the tire, we got, we got the tire change, you know, when we swap out the rim. Anyway, um, so $12,000. And if you all remember, I made a video about can you profit off $2 a mile and the, fi the figure I had on there was around, I believe around $28,000 for maintenance because that was my last previous truck and trailer. It was around $28,000 a year, you know? That's why I figured 28,000, you know? Which was like, I think at 15 cents a mile, if I remember correctly, at 90,000 miles or something like that. Anyway, um, so, but now that's a lot higher now though, you know, and we have, a trailer, right? We have a new trailer and we 
you know, right now we're not doing any maintenance on the trailer because it's brand new, right? But the initial cost of the trailer is like almost $12,000. Just we put 6200 on the down payment plus another, you know, uh, 6000 on the freaking registering it. Overall, this truck has been good to us, man, believe it or not. You know, I know, I know, I made a video a couple videos ago about how terrible it is and whatever. <laughs> You know, that's just me being dramatic, really. Uh, believe it or not, I still believe, this is the reason why I 100% believe, like, you should always, I 100% believe that you should, you know, uh, auction trucks is very valuable, but at the same time, you have to know, you have to watch the channel. You have to get contacts from the channel, you know what I mean? You can't be like, okay, yeah, I'm saying, this guy on YouTube is saying that, you know, it's profitable to buy from the auction, but you can't do the same thing I do, you know what I mean? You're gonna have to be able to do the same thing I do, you know? That, that means, like, you gotta have to be able to hustle, hustle, hustle hard, you know? I hustle hard, you know? I'm not saying that not everybody else is, I'm just saying that, you know, we hustle hard trying to, you know, get to where we are as far as numbers wise and that is the reason why a couple of videos ago you know i was saying that you know at 50 uh we're on track to make fifty thousand dollars a year after everything after all your overhead i mean not fifty thousand dollars a year but a hundred thousand dollars a year after everything in our expenses you know because right now we're making about fifty thousand dollars at the six month mark or at the seven month mark actually but we started late you know and also we take a lot of time off <laughs> We do, we do take a lot of time off. That's why when I made that video about can you profit over $2 a mile, I was figuring 90,000 miles because of the fact that I don't drive much at all. <laughs> See, that was the case before. We don't drive much, you know? We didn't drive much because right now we're not driving much. It's not because of the fact that we're at home a lot. It's the fact that the rates are straight garbage that's the only reason why we're not driving as much you know what i mean so um that's why i don't feel that's why i feel like you know it's not enough that's why i made that video a couple videos ago that you know what i'm saying like for all the work that we put in this business it's not enough but that doesn't mean that you know we're gonna quit or whatever right we're not gonna quit it's just that i i don't think we are compensated enough as far as that aspect of things, you know what I mean? That's the only reason why I was, you know, saying things about, or that's the reason why, the only reason why I was saying those things, you know what I mean? But if you ask me, it's always profitable, but look at that truck, my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Ha ha! Woo, that's a nice truck, boy. He, he hauling something long. He hauling something long. Anyway, but, that's why you would always, you know, I would always say that, you know, it's always profitable to get into trucking, but you can't just be like, okay, I'm just gonna be behind the wheel and drive, you know, like somebody else is gonna ditch match me, somebody else is gonna do this and do that, you know, like you would never make money, you know, as a matter of fact, you're gonna be in the hole after everything else, you know what I mean? But overall, rate per mile wise, I'm really happy, you know? Rate per mile, we're, we're, we're really doing good. It's just that I wish we were moving a little bit more, just a little bit more, and maybe another six, 10% or something like that. And um, I think like if you're an owner operator, you should be making over about 120 plus thousand a year after everything, you know what I mean? So we're on track, uh, barely breaking about $100,000, you know? I mean, it's not that far off, right? But still, like I said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep talking about this, but it's just that we do a lot of work. That's it, that's all. I'm not complaining, it's just we do a lot of work as an owner operator or a one-man show, you know? As far as everything else on our choices of equipment or choices of type of freight that we're hauling, you know, I'm really happy where we are at the moment. You know what I mean? I think we're doing really good. I think we're doing okay. Um, it's just that, you know, we're not moving much. We're not doing a lot of work when it comes to driving, but we are doing a lot of work <laughs> on the truck itself. As you can see, I got this usual attire. We're gonna be greasing the truck. We're gonna grease the truck and the trailer, and then there's a couple of things I gotta do on the trailer, and then that's it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. What do y'all think? Y'all think, would you do an auction like this truck right here, and then, pair it with a step deck like this and then based on the numbers that you're seeing from us you know 
You think that's a good idea? I think I think it's okay. You know, uh, as far especially where we are right now, market-wise, I think it's okay. I think it's doable. Um, I don't know how much further it's gonna get worse as far as the market, but we will see. You know, we're just gonna take it one day at a time, and hopefully, you know, it gets a little bit better for us. You know, uh, I think a lot of it here lately is that we've been very unlucky with a lot of loads, you know what I mean, with areas, you know, and, and I've always said it before, it's all about positioning your truck, right, and I've made mistakes already, you know, in the past, like where, where to position the truck, you know, an honest mistake, right, but um, I think we're still doing okay, you know, uh, all miles, I think I said all miles were 260, no, it, that was not true, all miles based on my calculation, right now where we stand is actually at 224 or something like that, 224, all miles from the time that we picked up the truck all the time, all the way until now. And that's, out of all of those miles, there's about, we're, we're looking at about 22% dead hit. So we ran about 35,000 miles, I believe. Yeah, 35,000 miles loaded. And we grows 117, so. It's not bad, right? I mean, 35,117, we're close. Uh, that's, maybe that's what I meant. You know, loaded miles, we're at 260. Maybe that's what I meant. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I just wanted to correct myself. And, you know, I, I, there's no reason for me to lie here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I don't get anything from lying. So basically, um, I'm going off the rails again. <laughs> what do y'all think? You think that was, this was a good buy? I, in the beginning, I didn't think so, trust me. When, as, when, as soon as I started doing repairs and the repairs were giving me trouble because of the rust, I was not happy. I was not a happy camper. I didn't want to show it on camera. I want, you know, uh, because I was having a lot of hard time in the beginning of the initial repair on this truck, but we got it down now and that's why I think I'm really happy with the end result, you know, and where we are as far as like trucking wise as a whole, you know. Hopefully it gets a little bit better here in the near future, but we will see. We'll just take it one day at a time, you know. We will see y'all in the next video.